Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be talking about Seven who is going to be getting her rework and her brand new FR weapon. Now we're going to go over why I think Seven is actually not that bad of a character for what she does and for what she offers. I do think that she is a very solid third slot unit for a couple of reasons which we'll get into here in just a bit. So. Do let me know what your plans are going to be for the upcoming banners. If you're going to be pulling for 7's F4 or if you're going to pass up on it for a different banner, let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. A big thank you to all of my YouTube members for further supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys greatly. If you have any thoughts about becoming a member of the channel, you can either click the first link in the description below or hit the join button below for details on how to become a member. You do get different perks depending on what tier level you choose and all proceeds from my memberships do help me and my family. And a big thank you ahead of time if you do become a member. And a shout out to King Saint one's own adversary and brian and travis for the continuous support let's continue on to the video so we'll first look into seven's rework so her skill one now deals four hp attacks with 50 percent splash damage her skill two gains three uses and now deals a fire ice thunder hp attack four times which triggers twice her ex now recovers 50 percent brave in between hp attacks and increases the active snake bite debuff on target by one level at the start of quests, when using any ability, it lowers all enemies' elements resist. Her LD now recovers 50% brave in between HP attacks and gains free ability use on her next turn. Now her brave slash HP damage from bondage with follow-up attack now increases all enemies' brave reduction to 400% of her attack, increases the AoE melee HP attack follow-up attack to 400% of her attack, and increases the Brave game to 400% of her attack. Her Thoughtful Heart buff adds a 20% party Brave damage up, but to her, it's going to be 40%, adds a 20% attack and stolen max Brave overflow up, and adds a 30% stolen Brave damage up. Now with Leroud as her partner, 7's FR inflicts 3 levels of snake bite on the target for 6 turns, then deals a single target HP attack 4 times. It grants the bondage whip buff for 8 turns. While active, it provides the party with HP damage up. Now her FR conditions are as follows, a 15% increase per level whenever a teammate attacks an enemy afflicted with snake bite so you can get up to 45% and a 30% increase whenever a teammate deals brave damage to a single target. So let's talk about whether or not you should pull for 7 in the upcoming banners. Now real quick, I do want to thank everybody for the feedback that you guys gave me in the last video where I asked you guys if you wanted a more simpler uh, format slide just focusing on the new character or the character is going to be getting changes or new weapons, so on and so forth, uh, to just focus on them and that's it and not and not the, not the side units. And you guys... Uh, pretty much just said like yeah just go ahead and focus on the uh on the character that's going to be getting changes so we're going to continue to doing it and thank you again for the feedback that you guys provided to me uh so let's go ahead and talk about seven so seven she is a good debuffer and utility character now you may be wondering like she only inflicts like two debuffs like what are you talking about well when you really look at it if you take a look at what she actually like offers or what she does on the city of compendium you're going to notice that uh, at the start of the quest uh, she is actually inflicting the enemies with some debuff aura. So she is hitting them with initial brave down, max brave down, and attack down by 10%, and also a 20% defense down. Then when you take a look at her actual debuffs, which is going to be uh, the snake by debuff, it does have a built-in defense down by 50% when it is at 3 levels. It also has a built-in speed down, but the percentage says 0 for some reason, and I am not entirely sure why uh, it is like that. I don't know if it's an error maybe on the City of Companions website or if that is how it was translated uh, from, from the game. But regardless of that, she does actually inflict a 20% uh, speed down debuff. And then when it comes to her Bondage Whip, which is the, the buff that grants her that follow-up attack, uh, it also has a built-in 10% speed down and a 40% attack down that affects the enemy. So that's why I do consider her to be a debuffer. Now, when it comes to utility, 
most for me myself like i count it as utility because of that bondage with follow-up that bondage with follow-up i like the fact that it will trigger on the start of whoever's turn uh it it, uh, it activates right so basically um it will shave off a good amount of brave off of the enemies which is one of the reasons why she is featured in this upcoming fight because we're going up against the moths and the the the, the minions the the moth minions right they they every time that you kill them the main moth will uh will uh revive them again but they will be revived with over 100k brave so they're ready to kill you but <clears throat> with her bondage with follow-up attack she pretty much shaves off almost all of that brave like about 90 to 95 percent of that brave is pretty much gone and thankfully uh she does benefit from that because like she uh in return she gains brave off of that to herself it would have been a nice add-on if that brave were to be applied to the party but regardless i mean like you don't have to worry about like getting attacked by a, a huge amount of brave and like seven will actually benefit from that with that bondage with follow-up attack um, now, uh, the other thing is going to be is that they added with her rework so that whenever she is attacking an enemy with some whatever elements that she has within her kit, uh, she will actually make sure that she uh, that that the enemies are going to be weak against those specific elements. So she's pretty much going to be hitting a uh, weakness damage, which which is a nice little add on that they give to seven. So it, it'll definitely help her out when it comes to her her brave damage overall. Now, the next point that I put on here is that the bondage with follow-up attack kind of scales with the FR. Now, if you already checked out some gameplay on 7, you're going to notice that her follow-up attack does not scale with the FR. So, there's no go text after it finishes the, the damage that she does. Oh, that it does. Excuse me. <clears throat> but, when you, when you look at it carefully, uh, there was one specific gameplay that I am going to link down in the description below. It was done by Indolent Law, which I know he is a huge fan of 7. But basically, while his while the HP damage bonus was going up and up, I noticed that her follow-up uh, damage was actually increasing with that as well. So what's weird about it is that even though it, it does not scale with it, at the same time, it is kind of scaling with it because like the damage output from that follow-up attack is actually increasing. So if you want to check that out, I'll make sure to put a timestamp on it so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, he does speed up the gameplay because that fight is just probably one of the most boring Shinryu fights I've ever done. And I think many, many, many JP players will agree, will agree with me on that. But like you're going to notice that it, it, that the damage from that follow-up is actually scaling, which is actually a good thing because that means that it won't be stuck at whatever her attack stack is by 400%. Like, it's not going to stay there. It seems like it does go up as it as the uh the hp damage bonus increases which is great and i and i and i and i'm down for that, that that's perfectly fine with me now her f1 conditions they are easy to meet but they are kind of limited ish to single target brave damage dealers now technically you could use aoe uh damage dealers even though you won't get that full 80 to 85 percent that that she would offer if you do meet both conditions you can still get up to uh like a 50 to 55 percent uh depending on like what skills are you use or if you're going to be spamming fr echo you can do that as well and you can increase it depending on what uh fr echo you are going to be using so there are ways to be able to increase it a little bit more even if you're not dealing single target brave damage but at the same time if you really really wanted to and you wanted to get a good 80 percent you can hit your hp attack man, <laughs> and you can easily get uh that increase in the hp in the hp damage bonus so like that's that's an option it, it may not be something that that some players may not be a fan of but it's it's an option um she is a great single target damage dealer i do feel like well with the damage output that she has within her skills or pretty much like all of her skills like i do feel like she is she definitely does a very good amount of damage and with all the changes that she is going to be getting i don't feel like she's going to have any issue when it comes to uh the highest amount of hp damage that she can actually deal so in my opinion overall i do think that she is a good third slot option for off turn uh, uh off turn team comps and also a good third slot option when it comes to controlling the enemy's brave especially if you know that the enemies are going to be constantly 
um, gaining a whole bunch of brave at the end of the turn, then it's good to have seven on the on whatever team comp that you got going on, so that that way she can keep the enemy's uh, brave in check with that follow up that that she does. Now, question is, should you pull for her? In my opinion, I don't really think that she's like necessary necessary to have like for what she does offer and like i can really i can appreciate like what she does but do i think that she is like like a character that you should be like 1000 percent like like chasing for because like she's gonna be like uh fantastic in like like future shinryu fights no i don't i don't consider her to be a bad character i do think that she is a good character but she's more she's more so like optional like it like if you want to play around with her you you definitely can uh she she will not disappoint for what she for what she does uh, but I do think that she's not a character that I feel like it's like worth like chasing for. Like you really, really need her for like for like specific fights or anything like that. Uh, I think I do think that she is a good character, a fun character to play around with. Uh, and again, she's she's definitely a good third slot option for like off turn comps or just like keeping the enemies uh, brave in check. If you do know that the enemies are going to be uh, constantly recovering a good amount of brave after their after their turns, because that follow up damage does trigger at the start of the uh of the turn so yeah and for me myself i'm gonna be throwing some tickets out of fr because i did enjoy using uh seven and it, plus it's gonna be another fr echo that i can take advantage of on top of the two that i already have and as we as we progress uh through the fr echo era she may not be like an option that i that i would uh consider using because of course there's gonna be different fights there's gonna be new toys that we're gonna be playing with so she's she's definitely there as an option for me to use in case i need to take advantage of her mechanic so uh, other than that though guys so it's pretty much going to be it for the video let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below if you're going to be pulling for her fr or not and of course if you guys enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe do all that good stuff thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one